My name is Betty Jane Israels and I've been involved in Federation for many years since I moved here 40 years ago, first as a canvasser. And in 2002, for two years, I co-chaired the general campaign with Mitchell Groper. And I'm still involved. And how is it that, how did it become that you were involved with Federation? What was the impetus? Well, I've always been a community worker. I learned that from my family, who were also very involved in Winnipeg, and it's just part of my nature. I, I like to be involved in things that my family's involved in, and Federation was a natural. It just, uh, if the Jews don't help the Jews, who will? So I sort of feel very strongly about supporting all things Jewish. Your involvement, dating back to when you were a canvasser, even before being, you know, working with Mitchell, uh, dates back a while. The community has changed a lot. So can you maybe share with us what your recollections were of the community back then, what maybe the big challenges were for you as a member of the community and or as, a, you know, somebody canvassing? Well, as a new member to the community, I wasn't involved. I was canvassed by somebody else who really opened my eyes to the needs and made me realize that uh, my capacity for giving was much more than what I was doing. I thought I was giving a nice gift and she made me realize that I could do a lot more and what the needs were. So in the beginning, I learned a lot from my canvasser and I went on with that same instruction to other people canvassing them. And now I feel that the biggest difference between when I first arrived and now is that there's been a lot more emphasis on education of the general Jewish population in our city. I think a lot of people weren't affiliated. It was a newer community 40 years ago. There were a lot of people who just arrived from other um, uh, cities and didn't have the, um, the roots in Vancouver, so it wasn't their home. So they didn't feel emotionally a tie to the city and they didn't feel that they had to give because it wasn't really their home. And it takes a while to, to get that feeling. Some people stay aloof. From, and I think that's our biggest problem even today is that people don't want to affiliate with our community. And uh, so I see the biggest difference from them to now, from then to now, is education and outreach. And I think it's been phenomenal. What do you think the challenges are today facing our community? Education and outreach. I, I go back to that same thing. When I was co-chairing the campaign, the, my biggest shocker was the number of people who do not give anything. And that the bulk of the millions of dollars that we raise comes from, well at that time it was under 4,000 people. That's, considering the size of our community, it's a lot of people who are not giving and many of them because they're not educated they don't they don't realize how important it is to give to federation as an umbrella organization that supports so many needy people here and in Israel what would you say to somebody who said well I don't need to give to federation because I already give to agency X Y and Z directly the thing about Federation is that it covers all, you know, 27 agencies in the community. So it also supports camp, the Jewish camps, it supports the synagogues in some ways. It supports so many different agencies and it gives to Israel too. It provides monies to Israel, which I think are very, I'm very connected. To, uh, to Jewish causes, and I feel that that's, I'm not going to give 27 different checks. I can give one check and it covers everything, and also Federation knows needs much better than I do, so they can allocate in a much more informative way. When, I, when you think back about 
be it your roles within Federation as a canvasser or as co-chair, or even just things that you might have done through Federation, be it a mission or a choices event. Are there any particular uh, events, stories that come to mind for you that kind of give you that warm place inside at all? Anything that stands out? Have you got a couple of days? <laughs> <laughs> give me your top three. Well, you know, the thing is, my uh, some of the speakers I've heard have been tremendously touching. Some of the movies that they've produced have been really heartwarming and and also educate me as to you know the here and now or the actual people that are touched rather than you know but I did go on a mission to Russia and Israel that was um, I, I don't think I'll ever forget it we visited a Russian home and I saw with my own eyes uh, how these people live and how dependent they are on outside help uh, we went to schools. We went to uh, communities where Arabs and Jews are together, meshed. There's no acrimony. There's no hatred. It's just young kids playing together, doing together. You see, um, you know, black Jews, white Jews. I mean, it, it, it just the those are the things that really you know make me feel that i'm i'm doing something for this crazy world that we live in today uh we were on the plane from russia to israel with um um people who were making aliyah from from russia that was really heartwarming i, I just i just feel like yes i'm a part of all these wonderful things that are changing people's lives and it makes me feel very good about it i've always said to people who ask about giving i said you know it makes me feel good to give i, I know it helps other people but it helps me i feel really good inside because i can do this and i do and that's important so it makes me feel very good.